Welcome back. Well, I was on the Printables website and noticed that they have a new contest going on. It's for a tissue box cover, and there was just a few days left in the contest. And I had been staring at this tissue box with the cactus on the side and thought it would be awesome to turn it into a cactus. So I designed it in Tinkercad, a cactus with a planter, and I made an opening along the top so the tissue can come out the top, and an opening on the bottom to put the tissue box in. I also slightly curved it inside so that hopefully the bridging would work out. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's see how it turns out. I pulled it into Prusa Slicer and put it at the largest layer height, which is the 0.4 default. Because it's a large print and it's pretty thick on the sides, I thought, well, let's go ahead and do the 5% infill and see if that'll help kind of speed up the process a little bit. It still ends up being an 11 and a half hour print. I added the color layer change in it so that I wouldn't have to print multiple different pieces and try to put it together. These are the speeds. Let's get it started. So my goal with this design was of course to cover the tissue box, but not be so large that I would have to print it on the XL. I, it ended up being about eight inches in diameter and eight inches tall, which is about 203 millimeters. And my goal on making it smaller was that it should be able to be printed on the MK3 or the MK4 as well. And that reminds me that I did get a comment on a previous video that MK4 and MK3 is not technically correct. I should be saying Mark 3 or Mark 4. So I'm kind of curious your comments on that, what you guys call those machines. So on the print, you can see that it is that got that hollow center. The sides are pretty thick though. And right around here, we start getting the top layer of the planter. I had come back into the room to do the filament change and I noticed something odd. I slowed down the video so that we can catch it. I heard a loud noise like the nozzle hit something. The video shows that the bed drops real quick. It does recover and continue printing, but I am watching it very closely and notice along the top that there is some filament overhang that it's catching on. It's on the left hand side, you can see it and you can hear it as it's kind of catching as it's going over that area. Then it turns into a crash detection and pauses and rehomes. But it still continues printing, which kind of surprises me at this point. We're at about seven hours in, so I just try to trim that section off as much as I can so that it'll continue printing. I'm a little bit hesitant to pause it just because it had rehomed a couple times. I'm just not really sure what the best thing to do. So I just go ahead and trim it a little bit with some snippers. But I still am worried that it's going to catch, so I actually sand it a little bit with a sanding sponge in that area to try to smooth it down and hopefully it won't catch again. But I wasn't really sure where it was at in the process and I wish that I probably hadn't sanded it. I mean I did want it to keep going, but this ended up being almost the top layer that it was doing. So of course on black it's going to be, it's going to look a little scuffed. Then it, it goes ahead and moves on to the next layer, which I probably should have done the layer change just one layer earlier, maybe two layers earlier, because you can start to see it's doing the cactus, and I probably should have had it do the green color change at this point. But I'm happy to see that it's not having any errors. It doesn't seem to be hitting anything at this point. It's gotten a little bit higher, so it's not catching anymore. Okay, we finally get to the color change. And that green is beautiful. It almost looks like a little flower as it's printing like this. Both of these filaments, the black and the green, I used Overture PLA. I've gotten pretty used to that filament and I feel like my temperature settings are pretty good, so I like to just keep it consistent with the same brand. I feel like the print is going to finish, so let's go ahead and move back to time lapse. It continues to print great, and I'm actually liking this low poly look that I created in Tinkercad. Okay, let's look at it closer. I'm happy with how it printed. On the outside, it looks really cool. There's a couple spots here and there where I can see a seam, but overall, it looks really cool on the cactus part. From outside, the top looks pretty good. 
but on the inside that curved space didn't turn out perfect the way that the bridging was it did sag some and the very top of the planner you can see that spot where it was catching i think the five percent infill was probably not a good choice that top layer just didn't handle that very well let's see if it fits it does slip in it, it's a nice fit it's not going to slide right out and the tissues work on the top so let's look at it all a little closer i did use a line seam and you can see it a little bit on the planter there i'm really happy with how it turned out i like the design i like the colors but i do think i can do better on the bridging on the inside so i go back into tinkercad and instead of one simple smooth curve i turn it into more of a round ball so it will mimic the outside of the cactus and it also makes that wall a little bit smaller so it should be printing even faster and since i was redesigning i went ahead and added another version that has a little bit fancier pot as well this is my first model that i've uploaded to printables and i went ahead and submitted it into the contest as well let me know your thoughts let me know if you've submitted anything to printables or to the contests in the past thanks for watching